God is good and God is love. And, and so we have to understand that there are certain things that, that have to happen in order to, to have a, a universe where, where, where God sees and displays his love and his goodness. And okay. so uh, let, me, let, me, let me just talk about a rhetorical question here, and, I, and I'll, I'll kind of talk through this here in a second. But um, so, so the basis, and th- this is something that Nietzsche alludes to in his condemnation of, uh, of, of atheists and, and humanists, that, that they use, they steal the moral platform from the Christians and the Jews. Interesting. Um, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a striking kind. I, I I wish I had a reference off my head, but but you mm-hmm. Google it, Google it, you'll find it. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, it's yeah. But yeah. Um, so I'm I'm not spending a lot of time reading Nietzsche, my friend. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but but if we if we understand that that the maximal love, the being that maximally loves, and is also maximally beauty, that he tells the maximal story that the maximal story would not be one that we would expect. And I think one of the risks that we run as, as just as just humans is we like to invent gods. Like if we were going to invent a God, I would invent a God that had a perfect world. It was all goodness. And it was all, it was all hope. And it was all kindness. And like never, never, never an evil thing. Something like that, right? Like if we're, if we're inventing earth, like we're going to invent <laughs> earth that, that look a lot like heaven. Uh, only, only, only that we don't have to obey anyone. That we're we're kind of free men. We have to make our own decisions. We have to set gotcha. things on our own, which, which I think is the classical uh, sin of pride. Now, the <laughs> the desire for us to do this is predicated on this, on this, on this. And I, I'm not going to put words in your. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Kind of the eight, things I've heard other atheists say is that, um, like, why is there evil in the world? It's like we have this idea that the world should be evilless. Hmm. And where do we get the where do we get the idea that that a world should be evilless um, instead of instead of the the alternative? And so I, I would submit for your consideration again dealing with the Nietzsche quote, dealing with the yeah. this idea that God's telling the maximal stories. You and I and remember I said he he looked across all the maximal types of universes he could possibly create, and he, and he chose this one because it tells the maximal story. And that you you have world A, which is the the world that has no evil whatsoever. It's the evilest. Uh, candy land, Heaven. fairy tale land. It's it, where, good, where good stuff happens. Only that you don't have to obey God. Oh, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you have yeah, God present yeah, in heaven, right? So you got to create an, an all inclusive candy land here. So this <laughs> is the evilest world. And then, and then you have you have world B. You have world B, which is a world that has evil in it, but mm-hmm. the evil is confronted with good. And over time, the evil does lots of damage to humanity. It kills people. It does all sorts of bad things. And the good confronts it through men of courage and women of courage. In the end, the good prevails over the evil. And everything bad that ever happened, Michael, becomes untrue. Everyone that died gets resurrected. And everyone that confronts the evil in that world gets rewarded with a reward that's beyond imagination, which is being in the very presence and being aligned and being in the direct worship of, of God himself, being able to worship him. And so you have these two different worlds. The evilest world seems like a, hmm. a world that no one would even bother making a movie about. It's so boring. It's so boring. But There's the books about the heaven. I mean, e- <laughs> <laughs> they've got books. They've got movies. They've got all kinds of things. So yeah. I wouldn't Boy, say it, it's one of the books in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, well, well, well it, it, again, 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 context matters, right? It's it's setting up nations in, in the old context testament. Context definitely matters. The people of God. In the New context. Testament, and yeah, and and so, and then also in in heaven, heaven is heaven is heaven by definition because it's God is present and God has revealed Himself there. And in the evilest world, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have a God because you have to you have to have someone to be accountable to, someone to serve, and we don't want any of that. So God is God here now? He's very he's very present right now. 